Welcome to Windows 8 tutorial lesson number 9. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to set up a local user account on your PC. And what I mean by that is basically people will be able to log in with their own username and password. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is bring up your charm bar. And when you bring up the charm bar, look for the option that says settings. You go ahead and left click on that. And then look for the option that says change PC settings at the bottom here and go ahead and left click on that. And that's going to bring up your PC settings menu. And within the PC settings menu, you want to look for the option that says users. And this that should be right beneath personalized. So go ahead and left click on that. And once you left click that, it'll bring up all your options related to users accounts. So within that dialog, you want to look for the option that says other users. And that should be in blue text at the bottom here. And you're going to look for the option right beneath that that says add a user. So go ahead and left click on that. And when you left click on that, it brings up this menu and it says add a user. What email address would this person like to use to sign into Windows? So if you want to use an email address to sign into Windows, you can do that. But that's not considered a local account. So that's not what I want to do. But I will take you through some of the other options here and read about it. So when you sign into Windows with a Microsoft account, you can download apps from the Windows Store, get your online content and Microsoft apps automatically. You can sync your settings online to make, see, make your PC look and feel the same. And this includes settings like browsers, favorites, and history. For that last option, I really feel like that's something that you can do already without a Microsoft email account. You should be able to save your settings for your browser and your favorites and that kind of thing. So I don't I don't really know what that last option is about, but in general, you should be able to save those things if you have a modern web browser. So let's go ahead and look at the bottom here of our screen. You'll see that it says sign in with a Microsoft account and it's in blue text on a blue background. I'm not sure why they did that, but it seems intentional to me. But, you know, I could be wrong, but. I know a little bit about design and when you put blue text on a blue background it makes it very hard for you to read that information plus the fact that it's really small text and if you look at the text at the top it's in white and it's much easier to read and it's almost as if Microsoft is trying to push you to sign in with a email address I mean that's just my two cents maybe I'm wrong let me know what you guys think leave a comment at the end of this tutorial and let me know how you feel but anyway, let's go ahead and click on the option that says sign in without a Microsoft account. So let's go ahead and left click on that. And again, you get another statement. Even after you've told the system that, hey, I don't want to sign in with the email address. It's again, it's as if Microsoft is trying to push you towards signing in with the email account. And the first option that they present is sign into your PC with your email address. It lets you do I already know what it lets me do. I read that in the first screen. And then if you look at the next option, it says local account. Sign in with a local account means you have to create a username and account for each PC you use. So they kind of give it a negative statement. And then they go on to say you'll need a Microsoft account to download apps, but you can set it up later. That's kind of neutral or in between. The next statement says your settings won't stay synced across the PCs that you use. Another negative statement. Again, it's as if Microsoft is trying to push you that direction to sign in with an email account. Personally, I don't like that. If I tell you that I want to do something, it should do it. And then if you look at the bottom of our screen here and look at the buttons, it says Microsoft account. And it's highlighted in bright blue as if they're trying to draw your attention towards signing in with an email account. After I've told it, I don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and click on local account because we want to create a local user account so left click on that once you click that and you finally make it past the you know screens that try to force you into an email account you'll sign in with the username so you'll give your own username that you want to sign in with in this case I'll just call it you know uh, user we'll just keep it simple because this is just an example of you know how to sign in with an account and then we'll call it password for the password doesn't really matter because this account won't be here when you if you were to ever have if you were to ever have access to my PC this would not be an actual account uh, for the password hint I'm just gonna put the word word this is password and 
if you, you don't know what a password hint is, it's basically a way of telling you a clue to what your password might be. So let's go ahead and hit next and go to our next page and it'll say the following user will be able to sign into this PC and then it'll say user and also under that it states that it's a local account. So again this was a tutorial for creating a local user account. Also you can set some child uh, parameters here for this account and turn on safety features but we're not going to cover that in this tutorial so let's go ahead and hit the finish key and we're done. So how do you sign in with that account? I'll show you in one moment. Go ahead and hit your Windows key and go back to your main Metro interface and in the upper right hand corner you'll see that I'm signed in with ASUS 64 and the way that you would sign in with that other account is you would left click on that and you would select the account that you want to use but if I click that this video will probably stop recording if I try to log in with the user account I don't know but you know what I'll go ahead and test it if you don't hear me speaking any further you know that it did not let me keep recording so if I click on user unfortunately I was not able to show you that screen because when you switch accounts it doesn't allow you to record the screen so I apologize if you saw the screen go black during this video but hopefully you get the point of how to set up a user account so anyway I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials don't forget to embed comment subscribe share or you know let me know something if these videos are helpful I would love to hear back from my viewers so please let me know what you think of these tutorials so that I know that the time and effort that I placed into these videos are beneficial. Have a great day.